Bye, people. people. <laughs> what? What? Oh, it's your birthday again. Yeah, so what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to sing happy birthday to you every time it's your birthday? All right, fine, this is it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, all right? He's here, our first interview. He's right there. Uh, this <laughs> is a little small, man. How do you pronounce your full name, Jaden? Jaden? Miquel? Harting. I play the tenor saxophone, as you can see, it's got the curvy neck there. What is your favorite Shrek movie? Oh. Shrek 1 is obviously the best. Get out, Get out of, out of my, my swamp! Talk to me about this jazz ensemble. So, it's it's called uh, the Allstate Jazz Ensemble, which is just a collection of jazz musicians across the state that get selected through an audition, and we go and perform in Columbus uh, at a convention for the OMEA, the Ohio Music Education Association. It is a limited ensemble, it's a big band. Uh, so when you think of big band, you can think of like Frank Sinatra. Uh, but there's usually about 16 to 20 people in a big band. I like this, this turquoise blue right here. It's a very nice color. But these past two years, Jazz band has been a big part of my life. But when we started jazz band back up, that was when I really got into jazz. And Mr. Sellers really helped me to develop a love for it. I do love marching band. Marching band is great. It's a great time to connect with everyone in the band. It's a ton of fun. What kind of stapler are you looking for? I wouldn't get that kind. There's just too many moving parts. It's too complex. You just need yourself a simple, easy stapler. It's non-complex. I heard you do live jazz at a lot of jazz bars in the area. Could you tell me some of the places you've done jazz at? Uh, I've, I've done jazz at um, a lot of places. <laughs> Uh, Brew Nation, the place we're at right now, is one place. At the beginning of the summer, me and a piano player, Nick Forlow, uh, we created this little band called Nick and Jay Jazz. And we kind of went around local areas around Salina, like Brew Nation, Speakeasy, some places in different cities around Salina, and we played jazz. <laughs> What kind of jazz would you typically play with Nick? We play a lot of standards, which are just jazz classics um, that have been played since you know, like the 1920s. Mm -hmm. 
If you could get any appetizer in the world, what would it be? I think I'd have to go the side of caviar. I've never tried caviar before, so... Do you have any future performances planned? Me and Nick are going to be playing at the Nicewanger Center here next weekend. We'll be playing on the 24th. Oh, we're not like a main event, but we're more of an introduction to the performer Grace Kelly. She's a well-known saxophonist, jazz saxophonist. And then we, we have a couple Christmas gigs lined up, uh, one which is here. If there's one thing you could tell everyone in the world, what would it be? Make sure you take that time to be with your homies. Everyone, please, take care of your homies. Be sure to kiss them goodnight. Anyone see a lost phone anywhere? Anywhere? Anyone? Oh, there you are. Now for my teacher interview with Mr. Billen. Hello, I'm Selena Trenchall with Mr. Billen in our history department. How have you been liking your time here at Salina? Oh, I've been loving it. I love the school. I do. I'm serious. <laughs> I like the other teachers. I like all the students. I like the energy you guys all bring. What do you teach exactly? I'm doing government, practical government, and sociology. Those are the three things that I did last year, too. Nice. Uh, what is the most rewarding thing about teaching? The most rewarding thing? I'd have to say just being able to see you guys every single day kind of thing. You guys have such a you're so blatantly honest with everything you say. Uh, who's your role model? That could be here in the school, could be just in life in general. Uh, I would probably say that my band director was probably my role model in getting me into teaching for sure, but just the inspiration that he was able to give to me at that time was super impactful for me. Uh, what can someone expect from your class? Uh, I would say structure, reliability, and honestly, I do like joking around. Um, so, if you could talk to anybody in history, whether that be a famous historian, a president, who would it be? Honestly, probably Abe Lincoln. I'm super curious to see how he would have looked at the world as, as compared to what, how I look at it today. And now for the fun question, what is your go-to dance move? Like when you're out? Well, you know like that generic like mosh pit jump thing that everybody does <laughs> where they just put their fists in the air and they pretend like they're dancing? Yeah. That's about as best I can do. Okay. It's the closest thing I can do to actual dancing here. So. Thank you, Mr. Billen. Yeah, of course. I like trivia. Do you like trivia? Yeah! This is Trivia with Ali Young. Gravity's holding me back. I want you to hold out the palm of your hand. Why don't we leave it at that? Here are three ways to manage stress. Talk to a friend, go out for a walk, or talk to Miss Kill. <laughs> Commander, tell me, <laughs> tell me how was the performance? 
Uh, it went really well, actually. We always do this with Elida because of tradition with sellers and settlers. So it's great to get to do it again this year. What's your favorite part about being a field commander? I get to watch the progress of the band from beginning of the year to end of the year. It's always great to see how they go from never being on the field before to being able to march like pros. I love it. What's your favorite song that you played your entire high school career? Like out of all of them, what's your favorite? I would probably say, not. I didn't personally play this, but they did Halo theme song last year. That was really cool. I like that one. Thank you, Hikete! And welcome, welcome to, to the Bleacher, Bleacher feature. The Salina volleyball team played an amazing game last Thursday, absolutely crushing Elida. Good job, ladies. The girls soccer team also played Elida the same day, with the final score being one to one. Our girls should did, sure did put up a fight. The girls golf team traveled to Eagle Rock to compete in the girls WBL championship. Our girls took the victory, making the first Salina girls golf team to earn the WB, WBL title. Congratulations on making history. Our boys soccer team traveled to Elida on Monday. Unfortunately, our boys lost 1-2, to two, but even though they lost, they still have spirit. They will be traveling to Pickwell on Saturday. Good luck, boys. Last Friday, our football team traveled to Elida to go against the Elida Bulldogs. Our boys put up a fight and eventually won, with the score being 17-3. to three. Tonight, they will be facing Bath at home. Remember, our theme for tonight is pajamas. On Tuesday, our tennis girls traveled to LCC. They will be traveling to Lima next Tuesday. Good luck. Let us wish luck to our dance team, as they will be performing their first halftime show at Friday's game. Hi guys, my name is Callan Henry. And I'm Madison Broomball. I'm a member of the Salina Varsity Girls Golf Team, and last Friday we won the first WBL championship for golf in Salina history. So, let me ask you this. What was, re what was your reaction when you found out you guys won? Um... Well, we were all really excited that we won. We had been first in the WBL for a few weeks at that point, and we were all just kind of enthusiastic, and we kind of went in hot-headed thinking we were going to win, and we did, so I guess it paid off. <laughs> and uh, how does this feel you have all this weight over your shoulders, you and your team, that to be the first Lani team to ever get the WBL championship? Um, well... I don't think we really feel pressured or weighed down by it. I think it's just a major accomplishment for us and for, I guess, girls and boys golf. Uh, I don't know. I think we're more worried about sectionals next week and moving on to districts. Hopefully we move on to districts, but yeah, it's just kind of a, an empowering thing. Well, Madison, we wish you and your team all the luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Don Chilko. And I'm Callan Henry. And this, this was, was the Bleacher Feature. And now with the National News with Leaner.
questions with Reese and Crawford. Wait, I can use that. All right, who am I here with? Reese Eiley. Reese, who's your biggest role model? I'd have to say Jason Black. Why is that? Because he's really, uh, he's a really good guy. Austin Norge. Austin, who's your biggest role model? Uh, I'd have to say Jeff Napkin. Why is that? Because he gives the best relationship advice. All right. Interesting. All right, who am I here with? Caleb Fover. All right, Caleb, uh, what's your favorite food? Uh, Chinese noodles. All right, All right who am I here with? Uh, Nelson Chapman. All right, Nelson, what's your favorite food? Uh, pizza. All right. All right, who am I here with? <laughs> Luke Maxwell. Luke, what's your favorite hobby? I'm going to have to go with uh, building Legos. All right, All right who am I here Ed. with? Uh, Caden Hirsch. Caden, what's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Why's that? Uh, everybody's really happy, and it's just a great time of the year, Tucker Ackley. Thank you. All right, Tucker, what's your favorite sport? Football. Why? Because I play it. All right, who am I here with? All right, Landon Vader. All right, Landon, who's your biggest role model? Probably C Bum because he's big and he's really big. All right, who am I here with? Elizabeth Gomez. All right, Elizabeth. Uh, all right, what's your favorite food? Uh, torta. Why is that? Because it's really good. All right, Thank who am you. I here with? Anna. All right, Anna, what's your favorite season? Fall. Why is that? Because it's the best season. All right, good Luke, answer. What song are you listening to right now? Uh, uh, Steve Lacey's Bad Habits. Oh, it's a good song. It's a good it song. Is. Can, you, can you sing a lyric from it? I wish I knew you wanted me. Bite my tongue like a bad habit. All right. Nice. All right, who am I here with? <laughs> Caitlin. All right, Caitlin, what's your favorite food? I love any cheese that's from Wisconsin. All right, All right who am I here with? Cora. All right, Cora, what's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Why is that? I love the smell and I love Christmas trees. Weather news with Raymond, Alicia, and Natalie. Hello, my name is Natalie and this is your weekly weather report. Hi, I'm Alicia and on Monday there will be a high of 65 and a low of 52 degrees. And on Tuesday, the temperature will be at a low of 48 degrees at 5 in the morning and the high will be 68 degrees between 3 and 4 p.m. Hi, I'm Raymond. On Wednesdays, the low temperature will be at 45 degrees between... The high will be at 63 degrees between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. It will be partly cloudy. Thursday has a high of 65 degrees and a low of 46. Um, there might be a few clouds in the sky, but it should be clear for the most part. And on Friday, the temperature will be at a low of 46 degrees between 6 and 7 in the morning. And the high will be 75 degrees between 9 and 10 p.m. This was your weekly weather report. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. And now homecoming with Crawford. <laughs> What is up, CH students? This year we are having Coco 22 on October 15th, and the theme is red carpet. I hope to see you guys there. All right, freshmen, you guys are new to Hoko, so you might be wondering, what do I exactly wear? Well, I can't really tell you exactly what to wear. I mean, whatever you honestly feel comfortable wearing is what you should wear. But at the same time, you wanna look good, you know? Hoko is not something where you wear something like this. You go to Hoko with a nice, a nice outfit, a tie, some nice pants, whatever it may be. Girls, you normally wear dresses, but like I said, I can't tell you what to wear. It's whatever you feel confident in. But to give you some guidance, maybe, I'm gonna show you what some of me and my friends wore last year. It's something pretty small, but yet we like to get as many people as we can in it. So it's like a mixture almost. Uh, the Hoko Parade, it is very fun. There's normally a bonfire after food, games, drinks, you know, all of it. Uh, I recommend you guys all going. It is something fun. A lot of sports teams do come. And it's just something fun that we do on the week of Hoko. I hope to see you guys there. Like you guys have seen last week in the Homecoming Parade ad, that has a lot more information than what I'm going to give you here, but email your coaches or any of your club directors if you want to be in the parade. All 
All right, guys, doors open at eight o'clock. There's gonna be a long line outside most likely. So try to get here somewhat early if you wanna get in right at eight. Now we're gonna walk in and there's gonna be tables set up right in front of you, right here in the lobby. There is gonna be random alcohol testing. So guys, be smart. I don't really need to explain that to you guys, but follow me. You're gonna walk in, bathrooms are obviously right here for anyone that needs to use them. There's gonna be a little picture station right here if you wanna take pictures with some of you guys and your friends. If you keep walking with me, we're gonna head into the gym where everyone will be dancing. Now, Hoko does end at 11 o'clock, which is unfortunate because I know some of you would want to party all night long if you could, but the whole gym is going to be packed. Like, there's going to be a ton of people out here, DJ up there towards the stage, and honestly, it'll be a fun night. Like I said, Hoko does end at 11, which is unfortunate. It is a fun time. I do want to see all of you guys there. Dog tickets. Tickets are sold the week of Hoko during lunch. Both lunches, yes, both lunches, they will be sold. So after you eat lunch, come on out into the hallway and you guys will be able to buy your tickets. I hope to see you guys all there. So everyone, please buy a ticket. All right, guys, Hoko, King, and Queen. The seniors have five nominees and they will both be, both boys and girls, five nominees, both boys and girls. They will be crowned at the game versus Walk Walk, the football game against Walk Walk at home. So try to go there. I mean, They'll have a little ceremony before, announce the king and queen for Hoko. The five girls and the five boys will be voted for one king and one queen. That's it. Each class will have a representative for. So the freshman will vote a boy and a girl, the sophomore will vote a boy or a girl, and the juniors will vote a boy and a girl. So everyone gets to vote two people from the class, both a boy and girl. Now, a little thing that's nice for the students about the Hoko game is if you bring a canned food or $2, you get in the game. You don't have to buy a whole $7 ticket. $2 or a canned food and you're getting in the game. Like, it's not that bad, guys. I hope to see you guys there. Boys, good luck on your Hoko game, of course. All right, guys, this is Hoko 2022. I hope I gave you enough information Hoko 2022 is going to be a blast. I hope to see every single one of you guys there. If you have any questions, reach out to literally anybody in the school. It could be a teacher, student council, me even. I hope to see every single one of you guys there. It's going to be fun. And let's have a great night.